But I want to turn your attention to a wind advisory that is posted for all of Northeast Ohio goes in effect at 8 this morning, takes us through 8 p.m. tonight. And that takes over the bulk of this evening, which basically replicates last weekend's event too. We could have gusts today upwards of about 50 miles per hour. The winds right now not too concerning. We have sustained winds between 5 to 20 miles per hour and gusts right over 20 miles per hour in Elyria at the moment. These will continue to increase and it's not with what happened earlier today, even though we did have wind gusts reported at about 60 to 70 miles per hour. Even Burke Lakefront Airport reporting 70 mile per hour wind gusts as that first line of storms move through. Same thing in Lorain County at their airport reporting site. But check out this system. It is a beast. If you have been checking out national headlines when it comes to weather, you have noticed that there have been impacts countrywide yesterday from Iowa all the way down to Arkansas too. And this is not over yet. The majority of the heavy rainfall is now moving eastward, but we have to wait for the cold front to arrive. So we're actually entering a zone that is going to bring out some sunshine and sunshine is actually fuel for future thunderstorm development. And as this cold front swings on through, we have the chance for a few discrete cells to kind of pop up. So the chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms can't be ruled out as we go through the second half of today. It'll make its way from west to east and we'll time it out together here in just a second. Over the next few hours, we're going to go from about 50 near 60 by lunchtime. If you have plans this morning, you might realize that we're going to be sunshine filled and you might be wondering why do we even have the risk then for the chance of maybe severe weather and then those wind gusts. Well, unfortunately, that cold front is going to have a huge collision of two different air masses and they don't agree. So we do have the chance for a few isolated, potentially severe storms. Most of the area now under a level one to even level two risk that's on a five tier level system here. So that means scattered storms possible. You could see gusty winds, which is a given not only with this entire system, but as the front itself sweeps through some small hail and we can't roll out an isolated tornado or two, but let's time it out because you have plans on the Saturday. I know you do. This morning is best spent if you do have to run maybe some of those errands and you don't want to be out through the afternoon as the front actually swings through. And I suggest that if you have to do so, but this is early this afternoon as the actual front starts to make its way through. You can see our western counties are closer to 60 degrees. Well, now our, or our western counties themselves have now dropped to about 40. I mean, our eastern counties closer to 60 degrees. But as the front sweeps through and those two air masses collide, that's where we start to get these pockets of not only heavy downpours, but the chance for potentially a few isolated severe storms as well. It's not going to last forever. Our chance here is brief as it sweeps on out. Some scattered rain continues and this is 6 p.m. Everyone widespread is in the 40s across northeast Ohio and we're not done just yet. We have the idea of trying to mix in a few snowflakes overnight tonight. Once again, our window is slim, but temperatures continue to fall as now we have a northerly breeze off the lake that helping cool down locations area wide. By tomorrow morning, we start the day cloudy and we have 20s on the map too. In your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast, we do make it closer to the mid 40s, even 50 degrees come tomorrow. We're climbing by the middle of the week, 75 degrees by Wednesday, but we do that entire system again. Opening day though, 48 degrees with a little sun and a little clouds, Austin. For nothing says baseball season like your heavy coat to Correct. go to the game. Too. I love that for us. April. <laughs> at, least love it. at least it's not snowing. That's raining. Could be yeah. worse. Yeah. Not yet, at least. All right. Thank you so much, Peyton. <laughs>